Hello everyone. Have you heard of jackfruit? Well, in Southeast Asia, we have been using this fruit for many centuries. And when it is unripe and green, we use it for different savory dishes. And when it is ripe, we eat it as a fruit. My name is Chris and I am a diabetes nurse practitioner. I wanna welcome you to my plant-based kitchen where we put together healthy, nutritious meals so that we can leave, live healthily and live longer. So let's talk about jackfruit. So in, when I was growing up in the Philippines, we have this in abundance. It grows as a very big green fruit with bumps um, on the outside of it. It can grow as big as 120 pounds or even more. So one whole jackfruit, if you have that in your backyard, it can feed a family for many days because it has a lot of flesh. And it's also very good because it contains macronutrients like complex carbohydrates, which is about 25 grams of carbohydrates for half a cup. And it also contains about three grams of fiber. It has about three grams of protein per serving. And when you think about the mag micronutrients in them, it has manganese, it has vitamin A and C, um, it has uh, carotenoids and it has flavonoids that is really good as an anti-inflammatory and as you know any type of plant that you eat and ingest is really good for your microbiome and it keeps you healthy um, you know for for life so let's talk about this so what I had done here is I had taken um, four cans of jackfruit a green one right here now here in California I could purchase this for about a dollar fifteen a dollar fifty if you're buying it more than that, you're probably spending way too much. So you want to take this out of the can and then you rinse it off really well. Take a pot and then put cover it up with water. Boil it for about 10 to 20 minutes until it's tender. Then you take it out and rinse it and you let it um, drain. And if you can't drain it enough, then after you chop it up into small pieces like this, put it in a, a dishcloth and wring it so that it's not wet and soggy. The other thing I do is that I take the whole thing with no oil, I put a little bit of salt and pepper as well as garlic powder in it, and then I spread it on a pan, put it here in my oven at 450 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, or just enough until it's slightly golden and dry. At the same time, what I had done, because I wanted tofu with it, is I chopped up a block of tofu um, and I put it in there with no flavor. So it's just plain tofu. And what we're gonna do is assemble this. So here we go. I have here a bowl of arugula because I like it. It has a peppery and slightly spicy taste. So when you mix it together, so if you take a little bit of this jackfruit here and you put it on top, and this is gonna be dinner for the husband and me tonight. So I'm gonna put it there. What I like about this particular salad, and when I order it in different restaurants, is that I can literally have this as a meal because it's very dense and fibrous, and it makes me feel full. So I'm gonna take about half of this, put it there, and then what we're gonna do is put the tofu on top here as well. So I'm gonna take the tofu and put it on the side here. So that would pack your tofu because a block of tofu, it contains a ton of protein and it's a good probiotic as well. And then you can see here that I have chopped up a lot of vegetables that I could likely put in here. So we have green onions. I'm gonna take a good handful of this, put it here. And then I'm gonna take a good handful here of great tomatoes, put it on the side here. And these tomatoes, I'm telling you, that's why there's not a lot left here. That's because I've been eating them as I was chopping them. And then these are like finely chopped cucumbers. You can put whatever vegetables you like because it is your salad. And um, you put whatever you like, whatever your favorite is. And then these are just orange bell peppers. And you can see that you've already mixed up a lot of nutrition in there. And then what we're gonna do as well is that I've been loving these microgreens. So these things here are like micro cilantro that I'm gonna put in there. And that would really increase the 
nutritional value of this and these are micro broccolis leaves there you go and then you want this to be filling and you want it to have some kind of nuts because nuts are good for us it makes us live longer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put nuts in here and this time I'm using slivered almonds you can use whatever nuts my other favorite is peanuts that are crushed up and I can put that in here or raw cashews or raw um, walnuts it doesn't matter whatever nut you have in your refrigerator so now that is assembled what we're gonna do is put together our salad dressing so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a lime and roll it because you want the juices to release and I've already washed this and this is organic lime what I'd like to do is to really create the fragrance of the salad dressing is to get a little bit of the zest of the lime don't want to waste it so you wash this you scrub it and you you wipe it dry and then you can use some of the zest in there and then you open it up and just squeeze it in there I'm actually loving this it's a purchase of mine so just take one whole line and this is about a fourth of a cup I would say we're done with that and we're gonna put this away here just on the side and then what we're gonna do with the hydroplane here is also great garlic in there and I'm grating this because I don't want big chunks of garlic in my salad dressing so this time I didn't want it to be too garlicky but I do want it to have the flavor of garlic so we're gonna have that and a second one and we're just gonna leave it light now because it's raw garlic it's gonna have a little bit of bite to it and that is fine that is something that we want on here okay and oftentimes if I had fresh ginger, which I haven't had any lately, is that what I'm gonna do is just kind of like grate in some ginger. But since we don't have it, we're gonna chop this very finely. Let's just go through it again one more time so it can be as fine as possible. Sometimes I just put the whole thing in my blender and blend it. And that way, if I'm like in a rush, um, it's faster. But I doubt how fast that is because then I have to wash um, my blender. Okay, so I have that and we're gonna put that in here. Now, for the rest of the ingredients that we have. So I've got here. Okay. It's wonderful. It smells very, very fragrant already. So. For some of the other flavors we're gonna put in there, I'm gonna put a teaspoon of sriracha. You can put like garlic um, chili um, sauce in there as well if you have that. I happen to have run out of it. So I'm just gonna put the sriracha in here and it's very little so it shouldn't affect it very much. So that's about a teaspoon and we're gonna put a whole tablespoon here of sesame oil. And remember, a little bit goes a very long way because sesame oil contains a lot of calories. It's about 130 calories per serving. And then we're gonna put about half a teaspoon here of regular salt. And we're gonna put a tablespoon of vegetarian or vegan fish sauce. They do buy this in the market. And there's a Vietnamese market that I buy this from. Okay, here we go. There. And then I put like about half a cup of um, rice wine vinegar, but let me put the sugar first so I don't contaminate my sugar here. Now, as you know, being a diabetes specialist that I am, I don't really use regular sugar. So this is monk fruit sugar. The sugar is made from monk fruit. It is zero calories. So it doesn't count towards the calories that you have. Now you're using very little of it, so it shouldn't be too sweet when you get to it. Okay. Now it's time to mix this. Okay. 
and you kind of want to dissolve everything in here. What we're going to do is we're going to taste it too. Every time I make this, it tastes just a little bit different than the previews. But what I want is the tanginess in here. I want the saltiness in here because everything that I have here barely has any salt. And so this is the only flavor that we're going to put in there. And so it needs to be a tad saltier than what you want it to be. Don't want to waste any bits of garlic and ginger in there. This is amazing. But you know what? I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the fish sauce here because, as you can see, there's no flavor in the tofu and there's no flavor in the jackfruit. So I'm going to add just another teaspoon of a uh, tablespoon of that one. So then you have two tablespoons of fish sauce here now, and I could write up the the recipe for us in just a bit. Okay, so now you have your salad dressing and to prep this, it's really amazing, right? Let me move all of this here on the side so I can move that bowl here. I love salads. I've just been craving salad all week long. Okay, we're not gonna use all of this, obviously, because um, it's very potent. So I'm gonna put like a two tablespoons in here and then just drizzle it around. And then let's see, we'll check uh, for saltiness after we mix this. Oh, it smells so good. And there's nothing like fresh ingredients that you put together. Now it's good to eat cooked foods, but I have to tell you, it's really good to eat raw foods. It's good for our gut. So whenever you can, in any given day, make sure you eat raw fruits and vegetables, as well as, you know, cooked vegetables. Mix it up a little. Get your nutrients from both cooked and raw ingredients so that you get a little bit of the benefits from both raw and cooked foods. So folks, here you are. And I have a little surprise for us. Now, whenever I go to the restaurant, they have this. It's sesame flavored rice cake. It's a crispy rice cake. And then what's the ingredients on this one? It's really just rice and salt with black sesame seeds, which is really good for us. It even has scallions in it. So what happens is that when you go to a restaurant, they serve this to you in a bowl and they put this crispy bit in here so I'm gonna break off a little bit of this. And it, it can be roughly done. Just so you have it on the side here. Oh, let me take it out. So what we're gonna do is put it in the bowl here. Okay. And remember, this is dinner, so you can have a lot. And then you can put this crispy bit right here. And you can say that you combine your little bit of junk food in there <laughs> along with your healthy food in there. And as you can see, this is your finished product. Well, thank you again, folks, for joining me today. I really appreciate that you're taking this journey with me. I hope that you find this video helpful. And we'll see you again in our next video.